Hi, it's Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training. In this video, we're going to create or write a little Excel macro that will copy each sheet within this workbook and create a new workbook for each of those sheets in a specific folder. So we're going to have three workbooks from our three sheets that we have in our current workbook all copied into a uh, specific folder that we've created. So I've opened up the Visual Basic environment in uh, Excel. If you need a reminder of where that is, that's the Developer tab and then the Visual Basic button. That will give you this. I've actually created a module here. If you've forgotten how to create a module, select your product here, Insert Module. That will create a module for you. And if you double click on that module, it will give you a code window. And that's where we're going to type our macro. So I start with the keyword sub for sub procedure. So we're going to give the macro name create a new workbook for each sheet. Probably a very lengthy name for a macro to be honest, but never mind. Uh, and we automatically get the end sub line uh, created for us. So we're going to write a code between these two lines, sub and end sub. Now we actually need to declare three variables here. So the first one will be a variable for the worksheet. So dim ws as worksheet. And then we're going to declare a variable for the workbooks that we're going to create. So dim wb as workbook. But we also need uh, a variable for the path of the folder that we're going to create these workbooks in. So dim path as string. And then what I'm going to do is set that path straight away. Path equals, um, it's going to be, I've got this on my uh, clipboard. There's my path. That's where the workbooks are going to be created. Now, what we need to do is be able to loop through each of the sheets and create a workbook with that sheet in within that folder that that path specifies. So I'm going to use a for each next loop. So I'm going to say for each worksheet in this workbook in the collection of worksheets. So what I want to do within that collection, I'm going to set the variable WB to workbooks dot add. I need an equal sign there for that to work. So set the variable WB to create a workbook to create an object. And then what I need to do is save that object and I'm going to save it to my path. So that'll be WB dot save as. Not doing very well typing today. Save as. And the path will obviously be the path I've already specified through my path variable. Um, but also I need to include the name of the file. So put a slash in there. And I'm going to say that the name of the file is actually going to be the name of the worksheet. Just to keep things easy. So I've created the workbook, so I now need to copy the sheet from my current workbook into this new workbook. So worksheet copy. Well, what I want to do is put it before any existing worksheet. There's normally some sort of worksheet in a workbook when it's created. So I can use the before parameter and I can say workbook.worksheets. Well, the first worksheet, let's put it before the first worksheet. And then I'll just keep things nice and tidy. I think I'll close the workbook and save any changes, obviously. 
Okay. Then once I've done that, I need to continue it for the other sheets in my current workbook. So I can say next WS. Okay. So I'm ready to go. Let's see if it actually works. Here's my three sheets, a little bit of text on each sheet. And I want to create a workbook for each of those sheets. So I'm going to press play. It's kind of got stuck there a little bit, but it managed it in the end. So I can see if that's actually worked. So I'll go to file and open my PC desktop, my workbooks. And there we are. I've got my three workbooks in that folder created by the macro. There we are. Uh, so not too difficult. A small little uh, bit of code there. Uh, thanks very much for watching and uh, Hopefully that's been useful.